Hi, and welcome back to my page or to my page. I'm Nod, somebody do Trinity DIYs or really whatever I feel like doing. So excuse my big pile of clothes over here. I was just listing some clothes on Depop, which will most definitely, they're already posted by the time I post the video. They're already posted on my Depop, so go check that out. Just had a huge drop. Yeah, my Depop is at the Nadia Howard, and the same as my Instagram. Go ahead, check both of those out if you want to. Um, but today we are going to be making some DIY cyber Y2K clothes. Um, Y'all loved my last DIY Cyber Y2K clothes so I'm like I guess I'm gonna make another one um I haven't posted in a bit just because DIYs are hard like it takes a lot of time to make them and make the video and I'd be busy but anyways y'all don't care so yeah if y'all checked out my Depop or y'all checked out my Instagram we can go ahead and get into the video for those who want a little quick drip check let me show y'all the drip let me show y'all the drip I got my little hat on my little shirt on Little cargo pants on my little fours on. You feet the jerry, you feel me. You feel me, you feel me. I might do a lookbook soon. Stay posted. Now let's get into the video. I'm getting ripped tonight. Okay, so first up we got these jean shorts. They're actually seeing John. I got them from the thrift store and they actually somewhat fit me besides the fact that they're mad long. But I decided I want some jean shorts for the summer, but I want Evisu ones. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start with these jean shorts. Like I said, they're nice and long. We're going to go ahead and sketch out the little Evisu M humps thing. I did this with a white base paint. I always use white base paint. Base paint. I always use white base um, first just to sketch and also to make sure my color pops. But I decided just to stay with white this time because I wanted this for a certain outfit. But of course, if you want another color, you can do a white base paint and then paint the other color over. Or... You don't have to you can do whatever you want but this is just me sketching out my design this is how i do it and then i fill it all in and do extra extra coats and yeah i'll shut up now oh for those who are always asking me i'm using the tulip soft matte white fabric paint i get it from joanne's craft store and yes it is washer means washer machine safe um so you can wash it and it will stay so I let the loo, life ain't all black and white, beautiful people in the different colors. I can never choose. I let my boobies and bunches, my babies are different colors. So what did you say? Why don't we dip to the crib with some shit? My gang got a cracking like lips in the wind. I've been burning my burdens and sipping on sins. Hold out on my plate. Them yams going down soon as I get a chance. Been busy, this music, she tying on my hands, but it's on when I get home. Yes, there comes a time where I make mistakes. <laughs> but yeah, so I made a little mistake there, so I did have to fix it just to even it out. Um, I ended up having to paint extra coats over this area and letting it dry just so it can blend in better. But yeah, I do sometimes have to fix it, but it's okay. Oh, and please make sure y'all clamp y'all edges, y'all edges of the paint. Don't have it looking janky, please. <laughs> please just make sure they're like look nice and neat. I have to clean up my edges still. All right, next I'm gonna cut them just so I don't look like Bob the Builder this summer. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna cut in distress. Um, this is totally optional. But I like to do it. I think I give it a, a little extra flair, a little extra pizzazz, if you know what I'm sorry. But yeah. Okay, so to distress the bottoms, I just pull out the little threads either by hand or with the little tweezers. Um, yeah, it's really simple. And then to do the like um, cuts, I just cut holes and basically do the same thing I'm doing now um, throughout the whole jeans wherever I want um, little distress marks at. Yes, sir. Uh, I know you see how it makes it like pop a little bit. Pop gives them sass. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, look at that booty. Yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> Another way of making the distress look even more like old is by rubbing your hand over the little things. It just makes it look better. And here's the final results. I promise you, I'll never wear this outfit like this. This is bad drip right now, but I was I was not trying to put on a whole fit to show y'all. But here it is. So cute. All right, all right,
all right so for the ones who go thrifting a lot and want to find like nice brand jeans and stuff y'all know they always be big old jean shorts just like the last video but they'd be huge so we're gonna turn these name brand jean shorts into actual pants so we can actually wear them so yeah i'm gonna use my little ed hardy ones i found ed hardy y'all it's my first ever time finding ed hardy at the store so i was lit but anyways ed hardy and um this other random pair of jeans to make these into regular jeans with patches on them so first i just like to lay out see how long i want my jeans and see what i want to cut off and yeah i already cut off the pants legs of these and put it inside of them and then you take your needle thread this is a no sewing machine sewing tack babes we're doing we're doing the no sew okay babes but anyways yeah just sew them on wherever you want them this is how i sewed my pants leg on i didn't like that little bleep bloop there that you can see so i decided to go ahead and put a patch of pockets sewed it over hand sewn of course um this is my hand sewing technique just go in and out um i do different types of techniques depending on where what i'm sewing on and what part of the pants it is as you can see on the top i did like an in and out uh, uh, the normal method and then this one i'm doing like an in in method um like i said it kind of just depends on what you like again same thing here this is the other pair the other side of the pants i'm using it in in method um like i said whatever sewing method you use is really on you to me sometimes it's easier to do in in sometimes it's easier to do in out in out it really depends on what you like and what you prefer um and if you want an in-depth in detailed video on hand sewing i'm pretty sure there's one on youtube but i'm not gonna do one right now so yeah sorry you're out of luck so now i just gotta give my other pants like a little bit more length because it's a little short and add some jean pocket patches on and i'll be done Woo. <laughs> and something is nice but it just takes a lot more time than using a sewing machine but it is okay because it still comes out very nice and i actually sometimes like how hand sewing comes out better than a sewing machine so cold so cool so many colors play holes like pro tools can never trust them, trust them, trust them, trust them. So here are the pants done and on um it did take me about three hours but i am a bit of a faster hand sewer because i've been sewing hand sewing for the past five months like everything but yeah here it is Okay, next we're turning this long skirt into a cute two-piece set i actually got this video idea from a tiktok so i will put the tiktok in the next clip um for you to watch first and i'm um, show you how i did it okay if you want a tutorial on how to make this shirt without a sewing machine and in two minutes keep watching all right this is for my people who don't sew just grab a shirt any shirt the bigger the better mine's is a small you're gonna trace the bikini top you already have or just guesstimate. I always guesstimate. You're gonna cut it out while it's layered. Now that it's cut out, it's gonna be pretty long there. Next, we're gonna cut a thin piece of fabric from the leftover fabric as the string. Attach a clothing pin to use it to help guide through the strap. And voila, magic. This is how it looks on. And just wait, I'll show you the back for the people who need to see it. Bam. Bam is right, girl, because you did that. But anyway, so I'm taking this long skirt and I'm just cutting it to be shorter because I want to show some skin. <laughs> but yeah, after it's cut, I'm going to use the extra fabric to make the top. So let's get into that. 
this fabric has very very pretty pink lines there so i'm gonna use that for my top and just like the girl in the video the lady sorry the lady in the video i guesstimated my triangle shape thingies for my breast because i don't have a very big breast so i don't have to measure much but anyways yeah but you want to do it at the bottom to where you can stick something through the holes so wow wow sorry i just realized i was like at explaining things but anyways i'm taking my triangle that i cut out on the other side and just flipping it over to make sure it matches for my other breast and then i'm going to take these this is how they look and then i'm going to take the extra fabric and cut a thin 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 strap i had to cut a couple and then just tie them together at the end because it was a long enough but yeah thin enough to fit through the um gap at the bottom now I got my strings, but I highly don't recommend them tying them together until after you push it through the the little holes because it might get stuck. You see that the knot might be too fat to go through the hole. So just wait to tie until after I ended up having to cut and then retie because I'm an idiot. So yeah. If you're using a skirt or jean or thick fabric like me, make sure you cut this little piece right here, this little chunk, because it will not fit through there. But if you cut the threads right there, then you'll be able to push it through. Now take your safety pin and push, 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 and pull, 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 pull through the hole. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So now it's pretty much done. I could have made the top of my straps longer, but I didn't feel like sewing because it's a no sew. So yeah, let's try it on. Yay! It looks it looks nice. I don't know if it's gonna cover my titty, but it looks nice. I like it. Yeah. My babies are different colors. So what did you say? Why don't we dip to the crib and some shit? My gang got a cracking like lips in the wind. I've been burning my burdens and sipping on sins. Hold out on my plate. Them yams going down. No way, you're still here. If it's still here, you must like me a little bit, if not a lot of it. So you might as well go ahead and check out my Instagram default if you haven't already. Like, because you're still here, like, you must like me. So, then, anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't, that's fine too. But. Bye, chicas and chicos. Purple tree, plus I got this brand in me. Curly yellow dancing on me. She smelled a green on me.